All right, first time out with the TRX4 in completely stock configuration. Other than the light kit, I did add the Pro Scale. Um, that's a project, but it wasn't nearly as complicated as I thought it was going to be. I mean, for a light kit, it did take about an hour to get everything lined up and then do some troubleshooting. Um, but other than that, everything was pretty, pretty plug and play. It still has some goofy gremlins. Like last night, for the life of me, I couldn't figure it out. But every time I drive, the reverse lights would be on. But then everything else worked perfect. Like the brake lights were great. The reverse lights came on on reverse. But on drive, they did. And then today, I plug it in, do nothing different. After all my troubleshooting last night, still a problem, last thing I knew. And then now that's fixed, but then the blinkers, like the turning indicators, will randomly turn on by themselves. And I can't, like, I'll go in, turn them off, fine. And then randomly, like on a right turn, all of a sudden they'll start working. But then they won't on a left. And you actually see that in the video where I'm sliding on the ice where, like, I'm coming around and the blinker turns on, but then I go the other way. Anyways, really goofy. Other than that, though, I'm really happy with that like it. Like, super bright, quality is awesome, and everything, I mean, it's a Traxxas product for a Traxxas product. Everything just fits fine. Um, and that performance-wise, so it is geared super low. Low gear is really, really low. Um, high gear is kind of what I'm normally used to running in a crawler, so I might go up in pinion. But this project right now is supposed to be, like, my grab-and-go. Something that I can hand off to my daughter and I don't worry about her backing it up and going forward, backing up and going forward and trashing the transmission. TRX4s are just tough. I didn't want her to do that. Um, she's already totaled my, an SCX 10.3, a Yeti. Uh, what else is she destroyed? She's very trigger happy. She likes to do the like pew 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 thing instead of just like a normal pull. I mean, she's eight. So <laughs> I don't expect there's more. It, it's part of the learning experience. I got her CR12 that she worked on for a while until she got bored with it. Um, Let's see, what else do I think? So yeah, with the Grab and Grow project, a lot of it's just gonna be seeing how long stock components last. I have this really big problem where I buy something and usually I swap out everything before I even run it. So if there's not a kit available, I basically treat it kind of like it's a kit. So I have a drawer full of XL5s and Spectrum 40 ESCs and a whole bunch of stuff that's honestly pretty good factory components now. So with this one, I just wanted to see if you take a stock TRX4 out, how long does everything really last? And then what really bothers me while I'm driving? So the first thing I figured was like, I already have one. I'm going to go home and I'm going to swap in like a much bigger servo. But I don't know what they did with this new one. I've owned, what, four other TRX-4s through the course of the past couple of years of building. Um, I only have one still, and that's a Defender, but it's mostly just a shelf queen, I think. There's too many pieces that like to fall off and break. It's, I guess I'll get back to that in a second about why I want to do a grab-and-go project. Anyways, so for the servo in this thing, it actually handled great I mean I didn't do any real rock crawling because I don't have anything right next to my house to do that I'm still not feeling super well um, but in kind of like my backyard park area which is what these clips are gonna be when it's in stock form servo and great didn't stutter at all great handling um, I'm really digging the locking and unlocking differentials this is the first TRX4 I've had where it actually has that option I figured just kind of gimmicky and something to just wear out but it is nice to have like the turning radius whenever they're unlocked is half what it normally is and it makes it a lot of fun when you're doing just like tight maneuvers between rocks to unlock them because you can literally just pull around a rock it works almost as well unlocked as like dig in my like full hill locked vehicles almost um so speed yeah speed is a little lacking but i mean what can you really expect from just a brush and then the xl5 was actually doing a lot better than previous ones i don't know if they changed the programming a little bit but it's a lot smoother um Traxxas still doesn't know what drag brake is so I'll have to figure that out, see if I can go through the ESC settings on that. Um, other than that, if I do start upgrading things, I think I'm just gonna do the typical brush drought on this one. Like I said, it's gonna be a grab and grow project, something simple, something I don't have to worry about, something that doesn't have a ton of man hours into. So if it breaks, if it gets rolled over, if my daughter crashes it into something and I don't know, a mirror falls off or something, I'm not, oh no, there goes a hundred hours worth of work. You know what I mean? So it's, really just something that I don't have to worry about and I can just enjoy driving again with this. So the goal is, like I said, simple, easy, something that I can also, when I go like out crawling, but then I'm gonna go stop at the grocery store, I'm gonna stop somewhere else. I mean, I live in Salt Lake City, so crime actually for big city is really not all that bad. But even then, like, when you have, you know, a thousand dollar plus rig, if not more, sitting in your truck, it, it's hard to go enjoy things like, oh, I'm gonna stop and grab something to eat, or I'm gonna stop and take care of these other errands, and you're just like, shit like I'll have my car when I get back this one and I mean it is an investment it's not a cheap truck 
but it's not, you know, an elaborate build. Um, other than that, so plans. Uh, servo, I'll probably end up just growing eventually if I get tired of this one and it's not satisfactory in the rocks with uh, Reese Triple Four. It's just kind of my staple go to. Um, I think I'm just going to do the hobby wing, the little 40 brushed, and then I do have a hand wound um, Holmes Hobby motor. I think it's a 13 turn 5 pole. Maybe 11, but I'm pretty sure it's 13 turn. Um, throw that in just for some more low end control with the light kit. That's the other thing. So everything's very proprietary with tracks, as everybody knows that, right? So one of the big things that I kind of foresee being an issue is that I'm really stuck with that transmitter. Like the way that, and the ESC too, it's going to be kind of interesting. Huh? But just the way everything's integrated, my big thing is the ProScale light kit. So the ProScale light kit, it hooks up directly to your receiver in like a a really, like I said, proprietary specialized Traxxas plug onto it that goes out for the, I call it a link module, but it's not the module that goes in the control. It's a little confusing. But anyways, yeah, it goes directly to the receiver. I think it actually bypasses the ESC other than power with a really weird, like, JST plug. So you're kind of stuck with the transmitter and the receiver. So I don't think I'll be able to use my Futaba unless I get really creative with wiring. And I'm not sure if I'll, like, you'll lose functionality at that ProScale light kit if I do that. Um, ESC I don't think should be a problem as long as I figure out the power But I'm gonna have to keep that receiver and the Traxxas controller isn't bad It's just I like being able to walk and drive with one hand It's always super convenient especially on some of these like when we go to little cotton Canyon or we do stuff like that There's a lot of walking in between sections where we're crawling and it's nice just to be able to like one hand it right You know constantly sitting with both hands going um, Yeah, other than that like I don't have any other problems with it, no other issues I saw, everything handles great, um, suspension was fine, I mean, springs were well matched, oh, I might eventually, so I do have an extra set, so I sold my comp build not too long ago, so I have an extra set of factory element shocks, so I might end up throwing those on because they are a little bit smoother than the GTS ones, and they're, you know, gold anodized, they just look cooler, um, that's about it. Other than that, I'm really, really pleased. Uh, Traxxas, you did an awesome job with this car. Body's awesome. I love the clipless mounting system. Everything's super convenient, easy to get in and out. It's a great truck. Pretty happy with it. Anything else you guys want to see, please let me know. Uh, any questions you have, comments, concerns, I'm here for you. I'm listening. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Thank you.